Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's WordPress tip, we're going to take a look at how we can change the URL or the permalink to any page to update that from the default setting that WordPress may create. So if we take a look at this page I've got open in front of me, you can see we currently have it set as special page, whereas it's actually called this is a sample page. So what we're going to do is switch over to the admin. As you can see, I've got the page open ready to edit. And if we take a look just underneath the title, you can see we've got the permalink where it shows special page highlighted in yellow. Well, what we can do is we can edit that and we can change that to anything we want. Now, obviously, you've got to be careful with this. There are certain rules you want to make sure you sort of stick to. First of all, generally try to stay away from leaving spaces. Either use the period sign or the underscore sign. Stay away from things like question marks and symbols and things because they can be used in search criteria on URLs. So try to keep it simple and stick to just either text and or numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to this is a sample page. So as you can see, I've made sure that I put the period sign in between every single word that I've got on there to ensure that we get a clean URL. I can hit OK. And all I need to do is update. And then we can switch back over to the front end of the site and we can see what that's done. So if I switch over and where we've got sample page, I'm going to come down to sample page two, which is the link to it. Refresh that. Oops, it can't be found. So if we just click to refresh the page, you can see now that's updated itself to be the correct link. So WordPress has done all that for us. So it's quick, easy, and a great way of changing your URL structure if you find that it's not exactly as you want it to be. The other great thing about this technique is that WordPress is smart enough that when you change that URL, it automatically puts a redirect in there for the old link. It's a great way of making sure that all your content stays relevant. It's a great way of making sure all your content has links that are sensible and obvious to anybody where you link them. Anyway, this has been a quick tip for WordPress. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button. If you found the video good, hit the like, the thumbs up button down below. It does help. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback or any ideas for future tutorials, pop those in the comment section below and we can take a look at those for you in the future. Till next time, take care.